Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Lord DC, aka Capital DC, back at it once again, bringing you the seven figure side hustle. Hey man, before I get into that, man, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, you know, to get you subscribed to the channel, bring you to everything that I do. This channel is made for you to enhance your life. Any way that I can help you enhance your life, I look forward to doing that. I, I can enhance your life through the mind, body, or soul. And, for, and, and another thing, man, for those of y'all that don't know, I got a health spot in Hazel Park called We Juice. That's located on 9, 906 East 9 Mile Road, and that's Hazel Park, Michigan. And what we do, we specialize in raw juices, smoothies, sandwiches, sushi. We got shea butter there. But the thing that we, that separates us from other businesses, juice shops, is that we aren't everything is fresh and organic. You know, we don't do no powdered sugars, no added flavors, no seasonings. We don't even carry any ice. You know, the ice or water everything down. So what we do is we chill half and we freeze half, so that way it's still ice cold, bringing you 100% of the product. So like I said, I can enhance your life through the mind, body, or soul. But we're gonna jump right into the seven figure side hustle. Yeah, man, we're back at it with the seven figure side hustle. Today, the chapter is chapter six. Keep things in proper perspective. Make the money, but don't let the money make you. Yeah, we're back at it, man. So today's chapter is chapter six. Keep things in proper perspective. Make the money, but don't let the money make you. You must have balance in life. The two most important days in your life is the day that you were born and the day you found out why. And that's by Steve Harvey. Every day after you brush your teeth in the morning, look in the mirror and repeat after me three times. I was made to be paid. I was made to be paid. I was made to be paid. Say that three times in the morning. After you brush your teeth, look right in the mirror. And that's a, hold on, I want to dive deeper into that. This is the, the mirror technique is very, very, very powerful. Something with seeing yourself and talking to yourself in the mirror that it changes your brain, it literally change your brain. So if you just look in the mirror and say any affirmation, but for right now, tomorrow when you do this, after you watch this video, you're going to say, I was made to be paid. Look in the mirror, right in your eyes. And, and after you do that, send a comment in the comment section and tell me how powerful and tell me how it changed your life but back at but we getting back uh, keep discovering why understand that you always must be in control of your destiny and don't let your destiny control you never jump for money or appear desperate never let a prospect or a project manipulate or pressure you into any situation no matter how much money you're offered Never let anyone use money to control you. Money is a tool. It's an inanimate object. It is it's supposed to serve and work for you instead of you serving and working for it. You're supposed to give money, you're supposed to give money assignments, tasks to complete. Money is a resource and reward for solving problems for others and not a source. Know where your true source is and where your blessings and power come from. No man can serve God and man. Choose this day whom you shall serve as for me and my house, and we will serve the Lord. That's Joshua 24 and 15. The way you make money is by solving problems for others. The best way to do this is to find your niche and specialized skill, problems that need to be solved or needs, wants, and desires that need to be fulfilled. Be best at whatever it is that you do. Be number one. For all my, all my old listeners, everybody that knows me, they know my motto is be number one by any means necessary. If you're currently in an occupation that's not particularly your liking or where you would like to be, then do the best you can where you at now to get where you want to be. Remember, someone's always watching you. You never know who might be the next one to come up and take you with them because of your work ethic and your approach to life. 
hey, blessings come every second, every hour of the day. You can get blessed like that. So you gotta stay, you gotta, don't get ready, stay ready. For those of you starting from a lower level economic status, don't look at other people's perceived success or get caught up in material items until you can afford them or can't afford not to have them. Nor get led or astray down the wrong path to acquire status symbols or fast lane money. The same effort that someone utilizes to gain things by nefarious means or sell dope can be used to sell soap or provide other products and services that are essential to life and receive the same profit margin without the excessive risk factors. All you have to do is think outside the box. Use your head. You could use your head for something other than a hat rack. A prime example of this is the countless amounts of student, students that we monitor before they go to college as they matriculate past graduation. We explain to them that the main reason people go to college is to learn how to make money. The only thing they don't tell you in college is that you don't have to wait until you graduate to start making money, contrary to popular belief. We explain to them that success in life is a team effort as well as a numbers game and that you would need a certain number of people to subscribe to your theories, product or services to get ahead. This is why we suggest that they attend a college or a university with at least 5K to 10K minimum amount of enrolled students in the area that has major access to a major airport, a bus or train station because currency travels and circulates. Of all the people you will meet, 85 to 90 percent, 85 to 92 percent of them will use some type of cleansing products to bathe, clean and wash their hair, to clean and wash their body, clothes, dishes, bathrooms, autos, and appliances. In addition, 75, no, 65 to 85 percent will utilize some type of personal products your toothpaste, your deodorant, your mouthwash, your skincare products, your hygiene items, cologne or perfumes, etc. Hair preparation products, shampoo, conditioner, primate, lotions, gel, tonics, hairspray, and more. Approximately 35 to 40, 35 to 40% or more of those students will utilize outside sources not supplied by the school of electronic items electricity, internet, cable, cell phone, service, laundry or dry cleaning services, transportation, auto maintenance, repair, uh, articles of clothing, shoes, athletic wear and food. I could go on and on, but hopefully you get the picture of what we're trying to tell you. Two words, supply and demand. If you could serve just a mere three to six percent of the population on a consistent basis, such as once or twice a month, at minimum profit margin of five to twenty dollars off of each of the percentage that you would discover when you was in your college days would be some of the best days of your life. Imagine sponsoring a social event in college twice a month or attracting 150 to 300 patrons at cost of ten dollars a head admission pre-purchase $15 to $20 at the door with an approximate overhead of $200 to $400. Now imagine if you earn nine out of 10, now imagine if you found nine to 10 other college students with earnest enthusiasm who were a little short of their cash or wanted an extra, extracurricular income, complimentary entertainment and offer them free admission, food, beverages during the event at $20 to $40. At the, end of, at the end of the event, in addition to breakfast, lunch, dinner at IHOP, Denny's or Waffle House, or the local buffet, and, and any other late night eatery of your choice to help the market promote and, facilit and facilitate the, op the operation of the event. That's a money bag right there. Not only do you gain money on it, you gain, pop you gain popularity, popularity, you gain future endeavors, you, you uh, inherit a whole nother source of potential clients that you could get and that's by using your network see it's nothing but jewels in this book now that you're a grown man or woman status 
imagine if you figured out a way to provide essential services, those services that are essential to life that people were going to utilize on a regular basis such as electricity, phone, your cell phone, your internet, your cable, insurance, coffee, tea, vitamin, health food products, transportation, or otherwise that you're going to utilize with or without you and refer them to a friend, families, neighbors at a discounted or broker's weight, which, be, which would be less than you were paying. Now, just like the college student, imagine if you found nine or 10 people with a short earnest enthusiasm who was short on their cash and wanted extracurricular income and offered them free admission, tickets to social events, food slash beverages during events and at eateries around the town plus an opportunity to make an approximately $200 to $400 in additional income a month to help you market, promote, and facilitate your reoccurring of people to subscribe to these goods and services. Now, throwing the option to acquire fresh luxury autos and trips aboard at a discounted rate, possibly sponsor when at certain levels of productivity are attained and maintained over a consistent period of time and see how much the enthusiasm and demand for your product and services will increase yeah utilize your network put everybody together it's enough money out here for everybody that's a whole tip right there parties essentials selling items watch out for the weed juice parties that's coming soon we just got the shea butter Got the juices, got the sushi, got food, drink, beverages, all that stuff, books, art, everything. Utilize the people around you. Your net worth is your network. Remember, people usually spend their money in seven main areas. Church, food, hair, clothing, automobiles, entertainment, and housing. Get your hand in at least three or more of those Effort, the places I, the things I said, get you at least three of them and keep connections in all seven and you will prosper significantly. Special note, you don't have to have the lowest price in town. Just be consistent, competitive, and a different, unique, and respect. People will pay for convenience and quality and buy the heck out of different and unique. Everybody you meet can do, can do at least two things for you. It's up to you to determine what those two things are. And that's by Penny St. James. And that right there, my friends, was chapter six. Keep things in proper perspective, make money, and don't let the money, and don't let the money make you. Seven figure side hustle. If you wanna purchase a seven figure side hustle, I'm gonna have a link in the bio, the link in the chat. You wanna get this. You want to get the right information for your mind to move forward, to prosper in life. God said he's blessing all his people in 2023. From, this is God's time. This is our time to rise. The information is out there. We're in the information age. Pick up a book before it, before it comes illegal to buy books. Get a book. Educate yourself. We're in the information age. Seek information that's going to help and inspire you and empower you. Reading is fundamental. You know why? It funds the mental. The world, the world, the world. We can motivate the world, the world, the world.